yo, yo. How we doing today, everybody? Good to see you. Welcome to another day here on the channel. Hope you guys are kicking butt. <clears throat> Having a fantastic morning. Today, we're going to be doing um, a very similar day to the days we've been doing in the last little bit. We're going to be starting with Dragon's Dogma 2. Going to be working on some side questing. Maybe we we'll start with a little main questing. Uh, we have one more vocational level to go with our archer. And then we're either going to do sorcerer or go back to our main, our Mystic Spearhand, which is going to be good. Uh, then this afternoon, I'll be back for hopefully at least an hour or two of rebirth. Um, I do have a, some Emberville stuff this afternoon, so I'm going to be heading out around 2. I've got a Emberville at 2 and then a playtest for a new game at 3. Um, but I will be back this evening for more. I think we'll, I think we'll probably go back to Yakuza tonight. I want to do some... Um, I don't want to... I don't want to let Yakuza get too far behind, so we'll probably do some cozy Yakuza side questing, maybe some drinking. I can hit the uh, the store. Utterly need to re -up. This isn't much okay. What business have you here? Why is everyone yelling at me? So I think we just switched back to Archer, right? Yeah, we just switched back to Archer, so we need to go and get our weapons, our weapons. Did I patch the game? I think so. Oh! Omega Crafter? Julia, I can safely say I don't think I've heard of that game at all. I'll have to check that out. Thank you, Julia. Omega Crafter. Hey, Crystal Cake, how are you? Alright, we want to get out our best bow, which I believe is the Dragon's Blink. We can sell a Medusa. Can you please stop, Dimitri? I'm trying to play this video game. Okay. Uh, we're going to deposit a bunch of random stuff. Okay. Um. Okay, let's put all this away. Now we're only heavy. <laughs> Great. Uh, we're gonna sell the Medusa bow. Uh, when did we get that? Whoa. That seems really good. Um. Yesterday, oh, that was off the dragon. We actually got that off the dragon. Oh, damn. Cool, man. Always a pleasure. We uh, will probably upgrade the hell out of that for our Mystic Spearhand from the looks of it. Fancy look at my ways. Very cool. Hey, Bad Dizzle. What's up, buddy? But be sure to buy ought. My services don't come ch We're going to sell one of our bows. Ooh, 25k. Not bad. Great. Keep my come again when you've more coin. All right, looking here. We've got to make for the meeting place. Now, this is for the uh the griffin. So we want to we want to try to take down potentially a Medusa before then. Uh meet in Isaac in a few days time, check on Sarah's progress. Ernesto is back. He he's at Volcanic Island Camp, whatever the hell that is. We do need to go back and talk to Dorian at the Elf Place. That's main quest. This we don't know. Oh, we have to go to the Forbidden Magic Research Lab. Is that here? Is that in this area? Oh, it's right there. Oh, damn. Yeah, let's go. Let's go do that now. Let's go check on these people. Let's go. Let's go get some rest. We'll check on the two time quests we have here in town, and then we'll go to the right and do the secret lab. Yep. Good plan. Let's do it. Well met. What's over here? Mural byway. Why is the Forbidden Magic Research Lab on the map? Well, obviously, I don't know how to get to the Forbidden Magic Research Lab. 
What was what was the game we played? Oh, it was freaking it was freaking Greedfall. You there? You seem like a learned individual. Surely you have an interest in the mighty Sphinx so, depicted on yonder wall? I kid you not. There's this game called Greedfall. And at one point you are looking for a secret laboratory. That is the name of the location you're looking at. You're looking for secret laboratory. When you walk into this city, you can look at the street signs. There are literally street signs. And on one of the street signs, there is a sign in the city that says secret laboratory with an arrow pointing to the left. Literally, it says the words, secret laboratory. That way. Like in the middle of town. <laughs> Tis a beast of it's great. awesome intellect whose riddles have confounded some of the greatest sages in history. Indeed, it is said that answering its questions is but a portion of the puzzle. Should the day come that you seek to challenge the Sphinx yourself, you would do well to look to this mural for wisdom. Uh... I mean, the mural does suspiciously look like a mystic spear hand, or somebody with a spear. And is there something hanging off her neck? It almost looks like a key? Interesting. I don't know, man. That's that's wild. What do you want? I don't know. Just saying hi. Okay, go to sleep. What level are we now? We are currently 44. Also, why don't I have any pawns? Did all my pawns die yesterday? You were fighting a dragon and they all died last night. Oh, that's right. Yes. I remember. So wait, if I sleep without my main pawn, does she still do the thing? Hold on. Nope, he does not. Okay, good to know. Is there even a pawn thing here? Because these guys don't like pawns. Oh, there is, right over there. Oh, it's in the place I have to go for the main quest, because of course it is. Okay, well, I guess we're doing that first. Okay. I love waking up anything oh, oh, and steady. Oh. It's the job. It's all a matter of practice, I'm sure. Any loose coin, I have. Let's get up to work. You bitch. Oh, what business have you here? Just go into the bar, bro. Chill out. Let's check with this guy real quick. A look. It was you. Uh oh. Well met, sir. You'll be glad to know that I finally finished my reading of that grimoire we spoke of. Why well, you wearing an eye patch, bro? Which brings me to a curious point. There's a favor I'd ask of you. Hmm? What happened to my eye? Oh, uh, uh never mind the bandage. Tis nothing serious. Now, as I was saying. I'd like for you to find the Grimoire's second volume for me. T'would seem tis part of a set, and will only reveal its true power when both tomes are in hand. The copy I possess is but the first, one half of a whole. I've heard tell that its twin can be found in a queer little shop in Vermont. Alas, passing through the border checkpoint is no simple matter for a humble merchant like myself. But you, sir, I dare say you are not of Batal then you ought have no trouble passing through the checkpoint. I have a feeling if I give this guy the book, he's going to die. I implore you, 
Find that second volume for me. All I want is to give my family a decent life. The life they deserve. This is my chance to provide for them as I ne'er have. I can already tell this quest is going to be tragic because it keeps saying he wants to, to help his family. But obviously, if I give him this book, he's probably going to go totally blind and not be able to do anything and get possessed or something and not support his family. Like... Greetings, Sir Arisen. Have you found the second volume of On the Transference of Souls, perchance? I don't know about this, man. When reunited with its twin, it grants access to a forgotten spell. I feel like there's got to be a different way to do this. I don't, I'm not going to do this yet. I'm not going to oh. do this yet. No matter. These things take time. I feel, I feel like there has to be a way we can talk to somebody who knows about it. Maybe we can find like a, a mage that knows sure, about it or something. Sure, it's a pleasure. Mm. Mother, quick, over here. Beg pardon, sir, but I must ask you to stop aiding my husband. Oh. He lost his eye while reading that grimoire. His eye! I can't bear to see him involved with that fell thing anymore. But he refuses to listen to me. He's been saying not to worry, that he'll make us more money soon. Tis as if he's lost his mind how much he repeats it. <laughs> Tis all my fault, Mother. He's only been like this since I said I wished we had an easier life. No, tisn't, dear, and don't you fret. Your father, he'll be back to his old self before you know it. Pray, sir, seek out that grimoire if you must, but do not give it to my husband. I beg of you. Pray, help not to my husband. I'll never forgive myself if- Don't help him, sir, please. So at this point, can we tell him that we're not going to help him? Greetings, Sir Arisen. Have you found this? Ah, oh. no matter. So I wonder Greetings, how. Greetings, Sir Arisen. Have you found the second volume of On the Transference? I could oh. forge it. Always a pleasure. Should I forge it? Do I want help? Um, you know, it's interesting. So normally what I would do is I would save scum this. I would save scum it. I would look at my options and I would pick one. But I can't do that in this game. So I kind of, I know what I want to do. Like I know what my, my, what my outcome would be, but I don't know if the game will let me do it. And that is, I'd like to somehow, th this guy's clearly cursed. He's cursed. Like it's it's not so much I've if we just I've seen this sort of craftsmanship. Mm. How they work? We can save it an inn. We could, weird. we could save it an inn, and then like rest on a bench or something. But I don't know. Like I, the, I don't I don't I don't know what I want to do yet. I don't know what I want to do yet. So the big thing is that um, I don't know how to end the quest. I can't give the book to the wife. And I can't tell him I don't want to give him the book. So I'm not I'm not sure like what option I want to do there. Um Hi there, Arisen. Oi. Forgive me, but I've made nary a lick of progress toward restoring that sword of yours. The blades make is as intricate as tis beautiful. Suppose that's why these things ne'er see battle, eh? If I only knew how to create this pattern on the steel, mayhap the rest would come easier. What are you jabbering about now? Oh, um... Uh, you're looking at the work of a blaze hammer. Tis a process scarce employed, but one befitting the prestige of a regalia hey, sword. Honestly, girl, you're no apprentice of mine if you can't figure out aught as simple as that. Wow. Sorry, Brocker. Must have slipped my mind. But if these patterns were the work of a blaze hammer, 
Mayhap that's what it'd take to fix the blade. If you've not heard the term, tis where you heat your hammer to extreme temperatures by dipping it in magma. Oh. Tis hardly air used since the hammers like to cool afore you can forge aught with it. Brock has explained the process to me, but I wonder if that's enough. Huh. Okay. You learned of a special smithing technique. Knowing that the patterns on the sword were the work of a blaze hammer complicates matters somewhat. Suppose I'll sleep on it. Mayhap the answer will come to me on the morrow. Huh. How could that whelp fail to recognize the distinctive traces of a blaze hammer? I thought hey, I'd near. her better than that. Yeah, but it's what she does next that really counts. Okay, so we got to give her a day. No, not the Suppose I'll sleep on it. All right, she needs a day. I think I'm going to give that... Man, I'm so torn on what to do with that vendor. I kind of think we'll do a forgery. I think I want to give him a forgery. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Because I feel like that might get us the actual reward for the quest, but at the same time, it won't get him killed and blinded. Which I think is a good... Yeah. <clears throat> you can save scum and test using an inn. I don't want to. I don't want to. Nah. I've been enjoying our our no save scum run, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it that way for now. If I'm gonna save scum, I wanna like save scum. You know what I mean? None of this half ass junk. Ooh. Wait, where does this go? Oh, I have made a huge mistake. Oh my. Um, can I doze off? Oh, I can swap with pawn. Okay, we're going, we're going back, chat, we're going back. So we just have a pawn do it if you wanted to. That's great. jump off here and that gondola can never be used again because no one can get to it now that that gondola is dead that is a dead dela is what it is no one will ever use it now whoops i have made a huge mistake Oh, he's eating. Later, bud. That stuff is so cool. Just seeing the giant mobs like exist. I love it, dude. What can I throw in? This tavern is open. Aye, even pawns. So long as they've coined for their ale. Okay, first, never mind. The people of Batal view pawns with great prejudice. They're even forbidden from setting foot in the capital. Her Majesty, Empress Nadinya, has long been troubled by this custom, but a practice so ancient isn't easily overturned. Many are unhappy about the existence of this tavern, even though it lies outside the capital, simply because it was established as a place for pawns to gather. Mm. I know not what manner of person you are, but if you would aid me in my efforts to make the people of Batal more accepting of pawns, 
I would be glad to offer you a residence permit. But I already bought a house. Tis a bargain more than fair. For those who hold such permits may remain in Bakbatal without having their activities questioned. What say you? Okay. Glad I am to hear it. Take this then. Simply show it to one of the sentries and you'll be granted entry to the capital. Oh, and if you encounter any troubled Batali along the way, I bid you assist them. They are harsh in their persecution of the pawns, but were they to be aided by the targets of their ire, mayhap a few stubborn hearts would soften. It's fair. A simple plan, I know, but is the only one available, or so it seems to me. I bid you good fortune, Sir Arisen. Okay. Well met, sir. How's the day treating you then? Hi. Die? There's a die system? Always a pleasure. Oh, it's hair makeup dye. Oh. I was going to say, I didn't think there was a dye system in this game. This is it. I've been forsaken. Hi, Lena. Looking good, girl. Looking good. All right. So. Ooh. What do you got? Nah, I got nothing good. Um. Hmm. Her name was Rio, and she dances on the sand. Yeah. Uh. Ooh, there we go. Let's get you. Leave the finding of equipment enhancing materials to me, Master. Okay. I shall please dispense with the formalities. That... Right now, I need like a. Oh, here we go. I happen to understand Elvish, Master. Dang it. It will be an honor to serve I'm by sorry. Your side. I didn't mean to go like cute, skimply dressed girl team, but here we are. I'm sorry, chat. Uh, okay. Wait. A troubling rumor has reached my ears, and methinks I ought to share. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. And your eyes In are battle, very. I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Okay, so her eyes are very red, but they don't seem to be flashing red at all. So I think she's okay. She's okay, right? Yeah. Gathering materials makes for dull work indeed. I've not much to say at the moment. Yeah, you're fine. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So what do we have to do for this quest? Oh, just make just entrance. Okay. Is there a um They say come. Is there a forger here in Batal? No. There doesn't seem to be. Maybe just the border town. Okay. Let's go inside for now and see what happens. Alter self with the 125 months! Woo! Thank you, buddy. Insane. Insane. In my line of business, patience is key. I know naught of. Ho there, faring all. Yeah? What is it? All knowledge of this, God's way, stems from the forbidden magic research laboratory, which can be found here in Batal. However, you would do well to first travel to the altar Batal coast and seek a man named Ambrosius. For as a researcher of this laboratory, he will doubtless be able to answer many of 
of your questions. Uh Oh. We should do this first. Okay. Up there. Looks like we can go out the east gate and then just head north. Let's do it. Oh, we slept. Let's go check with her real quick. See if there's anything new down here. How's Archer been? Very strong, but kind of boring. Yeah, I don't, I don't really want to do manual aiming, so it's, you know, it's kind of... Knowing that the pattern's on the sword, but suppose oh. I'll sleep on it. Oh, that's weird. Didn't we sleep? How could... Yeah, but it's what she does next. Could have sworn we slept, but maybe not. All right, we'll just keep going for now. We'll come back and check on her later. We got to go back to the border town and uh, make a forgery as well. Boy, what's your problem? Walking about with pawns in tow, I mislike that. You from Vermin? <laughs> Bet you're as prejudiced as the rest of your lot. Well, got something you want to say, eh? Save it. You're not welcome here. Suppose you didn't know, but we don't allow Vermundian scum in this tavern. But I've got a heart of gold, me. I'll give you a chance to redeem yourself. All you've got to do is prove your mettle against these sods alone. That is, if you're bested, then we'll take all you've got. It's only fair, ain't it? Put your back into it! Well now. Quite the brawl we're having here. But I must say, these odds are rather craven. Did you leave your honor at the door? And who are you supposed to be? You a friend of this one? Nay, I'm a sellsword. Coin is my only ally. Tis not my conscience that called me here. No, no. I simply cannot stomach acts of cowardice. Is there even one among you with the grit for a proper duel, one on one? What'd be in it for us, eh? The fact that I'd refrain from breaking your jaw. Hmm, that's not quite the reaction I was hoping for. Mayhap you know not my face. How about my name then? Ragnar. Ragnar? You're him. From the Scarlet Reigns and the battle for Jeremiah? Well, tis clear you're a man best not crossed. But I trust you'll have no complaints so long as there's only one of us. Aye? Oi, bring it out! Where's that reprobate gotten off to? Oh God! That's a big sword. We'll see if you can escape me a second time. I don't believe it. <laughs> You're a bloody menace, you are. Come on, you lot. We're leaving. Uh, your friend is on fire. Fine work, that was. Pray, save your thanks. I've no need of it. After all, judging by the skill with which you won that duel just now, I dare say you'd have bested those louts even if I hadn't intervened. Oh yeah, I was just fine. I suppose that coward knew he was no match for you in a fair fight, so he had that beast take the beating for him. At any rate, tis safe to say you've piqued my interest. I hope our paths cross again someday. Hmm. Of course, I can't promise I'll be as amicable then. As a sellsword, tis my policy to let my employer decide friend from foe. I'm sure you understand. Till next time.
He seems so One cheery for someone that's like, yeah, I might murder you later if someone pays me. Who is he really? <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> I'm not sure what to tell you. Huh.